Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 732. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link directly below the video and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 727 to 732. Hey, uh, just a quick video here about the series function in a when you create a chart. Now here's a chart. I'm going to highlight. We have some labels or categories, some numbers, and that is the uh, name that the chart will use for the this data right here, series data. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt F1. Alt F1. It creates the default chart. Now uh, I have to control, hold control and roll my mouse in to make this much smaller. I want this to be just a little chart. Okay. Now what does the series function do? Well, that's uh, the chart title, the axis, here's some labels, here's a legend. We don't need that. I'm going to hit delete. But now let's click on this and you can see up in the formula bar there's a series function. Actually, if you copy this, escape, and try to paste this into a cell, you get a message this function is not valid. Definitely not for cells. At least I don't know how to put it in a cell. Um, but let's take a look at this. I'm going to click here. What does it mean? Uh, you don't ever really need to know. However, some people actually like to edit here. So for example, you can see this B1, that gives us the series name. These numbers are called the series uh, data points. That's the series name. The, the co a comma, and then the next bit is A2 to A10. Those are the labels. The next argument, number three, are the values. And finally, we have um, a number. So for example, this tells us this is the first uh, series here. There can be more. We'll look at an example in just a moment. So for example, if you wanted to edit this, you actually could. You could come right up here and then click there. And watch this. So when I hit Enter, it'll change. So that's linked. Similarly, you, if you wanted to edit, you could edit any part of this. So this is our labels. I'm going to hit delete, there's the comma, and then click there and control shift down arrow to get those. That's a good reason to know control shift down arrow, right? And then enter. So that has the uh, new labels right there, period one, period two, etc. And then finally we could change the values right here. And so we have that. Now, if you have uh, two series like this, I'm going to use that keyboard shortcut Alt F1. Control, I'm holding Control and rolling my uh, the roller ball on my mouse. But all we want to see here is if I click on this one, ah, there's the two because it means it's the second uh, uh, series of uh, data points, numbers, and there's the first one. You can see that's the number one. Just a little bit about the series. Sometimes people like to edit um, using the series function. All right, we'll see you next trick.